Hey guys, it's me, JJ. Let's keep going on with this. Part of this little, I guess, mini series of um, saying goodbye on um, the last one of saying goodbye to exchange students. And of course, after that has to come me saying goodbye to Brazil. Enjoy the sentimental violin playing that I am. I entered in there. Let me know if you cry, comment down below if you cry. If you're an exchange student watching this, hopefully you can maybe relate about what it's like to leave your host country. But without further ado, here we go, 2018, July. Let's rewind. Hey guys, it's me, JJ. I got a surprise party. Here I am with Anemia Iduda. I think you guys remember her. And Anna, she's gonna do Intercambio next year. Let's say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really happy right now because I've always wanted a surprise party since I was like six. Here's Ju. I haven't seen her in forever because she moved to Sao Paulo. And if you'll remember, she was in one of my first videos here in Brazil in uh, Parque Baragui. And now this is the countdown. I'm going back home. <laughs> hey. Ciao, JJ! Ciao, JJ! Ciao, JJ! Ciao. We are doing a video because JJ never did a video with me. Yeah, because she moved to Sao Paulo. I'm going to video just to confess. They're interrupting my video. Take a photo, JJ! Put a flank, my dear. All right guys, so today I came to Jenny's house to record a couple last videos here in Brazil. Today, tomorrow is when I leave. Um, I have like 28 hours left. So I'm almost at the 24 hour mark. So yeah, I literally left at like seven in the morning. Got here really early, but I have Marcella here and Jenny and this is how I'm spending half of my last day here in Brazil. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna eat lunch with them, go back home and um, I'll have my last churrasco. How do you guys feel about my departure? For Jenny, Marcella, <laughs> it's five days almost, and for Jenny, it's ten. It's crazy. All right, guys, I didn't really vlog that much today, but um, because I was really busy, I was at Jenny's house making the video, and then I had to travel two hours to get there, two hours to come back. I'm back here. I like started making cookies right away. I saw one of my host moms, and now I'm having my going away party, I guess. It's like my second one, I guess. <laughs> it's a shuhasco, and nobody came. So that's my light night. That's my, that's my last night here in Brazil. Remember that. I think it's probably good. Eh, it's not Yeah, it's not true. <laughs> but yeah, we're waiting for everybody else to get here, but it's crazy. In like 24 hours, I'll be on my way to the US. I'm never going to see you guys again. But like, it's never gonna be the same. Last night when oh people were playing cards, like in the kitchen floor playing cards, it's like a whole nother world here. It's really crazy. And I'm gonna be back home. I can't even like remember what it's like to sleep on my own bed. I started crying in the middle of the shuhasco. And um, so then it ended. I've been doing a really bad job of vlogging because I've been crying so much. And these are the last people left. <laughs> yeah, I've been crying a lot. I'll elaborate it on it later. But other people are crying too, not just me, so that's good. Um, and yeah, this is embarrassing. How do YouTubers cry and make videos? I don't understand. So everybody left. And like now, like what was really hard when everybody was there was like looking at their faces. The thing that's like so sad is like the next time I see them, it'll be like a special occasion. It won't be normal. It'll be like, oh, I haven't seen you in so long. Like it was my dream to do exchange. And it's insane that like my dream's over, I guess. Like accomplish, you know, like dream, dream, dream accomplished, check. 
I think the hardest thing is that I have to come back and go back to high school and everything is exactly the same. It's not like I get to go to college or something. And it's not like I'm not appreciative of like being in high school and everything like that or like where I live. It's like, yeah, I'm really lucky. But it's just, it's just like my life here was incredible. But dang, I started talking to the camera and the tears went away. I was really just crying for like five minutes, just sitting by myself crying. But yeah, I think tomorrow, so like I said bye to my Brazilian friends. And like, that was really hard, but it's over. But like now tomorrow I have to say bye to Marcella and Jenny. And like, when I was saying bye to Chloe or like Team or like all these other people, it still didn't hit me. Like when they went around the corner, I still felt like they were still there. But like these past few days, I realized, wow, like there's so many times I wanted to hang out with them and I couldn't. And now it's like hitting me like it is ending and this whole year and everything that consisted of this whole year is over. It's hard to live somewhere for so long. Like if I had lived here for three months, I don't think I would have gotten so attached. But it's like so hard to detach yourself. You want to enjoy it. You want to feel like these people are your family, your friends. And like you can't really make that connection unless you make that connection, unless you attach. Uh, we're leaving tomorrow around like 11.15. Because I leave at 3.15, we're going to have lunch. So I'll have time to pack. I literally didn't eat. I have, like, one bag packed. So hopefully tomorrow I'll have like a few hours to finish packing. I'm not worried about it. I need to figure out my tickets. Um, I have no idea what's going on with that. I haven't looked at them yet. Because I was crying literally all night for, like, the past, about, like, three, four hours I've been crying. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be really hard, too. My last time waking up in Brazil. So, I don't, yeah, I, like, I think you can kind of see my eyes are still swollen, but that's okay. <laughs> right now it's like nine-ish. I woke up at like seven because I didn't finish packing. <laughs> and um, I'll show you my stuff. So here I'm like finishing up packing. I have like some loose items. And I think everything's gonna fit the weight limit. I pray. I called my sister Isabella and that made me feel a lot better. She had some good words of wisdom. And we'll see what happens today. Here's like kind of where we're at. I remember watching um, vlogs of like when people would go home and they'd be so sad and they couldn't imagine it and like it'd be such a sad thing. And I always think like, yeah, but they, they knew they were going home at some point. Like they shouldn't be that sad. But now I'm like, when you're living somewhere for a year, you don't want to feel every day that you're going to leave one day. And I feel like at one point your mind just doesn't like, Let's you forget about that and let you just enjoy your time and not feel like um, it's all like going to end. And then it all ends and it hit me like a brick last night, but that's cool. It's fine. It's great. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty sad, isn't it? Yeah, the night before I left, I don't think, even to this day, I've ever felt as sad as I did that night. When I cry, usually I feel better after, and my whole body just ached. I felt worse, and I had literally a migraine that day of, like, leaving, and then, like, the whole time going back home to America, and so I also just didn't even record that much. But so yeah, so now I'm back here in America, and maybe I'll make a video about how life has been in America. And obviously, I couldn't leave you guys on a sad note, so 
Of course, I'm going to include a montage of me surprising all my friends. Who do you think I am? But anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Peace out. Ciao. Don't know if I'll post this, but for memories, right?